welcome back to my channel. Hopping on real quick, if you guys hear anything in the background, Josh decided it was a really good idea to uh, not only weed whack, but weed whack at like, I don't know, two o'clock in the afternoon in Florida. Oh, he's looking at me. Anyways, let's jump into it. This would be June favorites. First thing, my most favorite thing came home. If you guys don't know, Josh was deployed and he came home early this month, so that has been my first and ultimate favorite fave in the world. So, knock that right out of the way. Second thing would be the Matrix Oil Wonders Volume Rose Finishing Spray. This stuff smells ah. Amazing. I love the smell of rose scented things and the fact that this is rose scented just makes it even better. You can spray this in and the scent will last all night long. It's pretty awesome. Get your hands on it. So I did a huge order on Tarte. I'm talking three, four hundred dollar order on Tarte. I wanted to try their new Rainforest of the Sea collection. So the next few things are from that collection. I got the oh Water Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF Sunscreen Rainforest of the Sea Foundation in the shade Light Sand. And of course, I went ahead and got the matching concealer. I am wearing it today. I've been obsessed. It's supposed to last 12 hours. Now, maybe on the normal person should last 12 hours. I'm behind the chair all the time in the salon. I sweat. He's directly on me from the hair dryer and you know hot tools and whatever. With that being said I do have to use a primer with it. So the primer I found that works the best as of right now. I'm still trying to uh, experiment with my primers but the favorite one I found that works the best with this combo would be the Smashbox Oil Finish Primer oil. I was kind of scared to try this stuff only because it is a primer oil and I was like I am already combo to oily skin. I don't need to add any more oil to my face however with this stuff that is not the case. It actually keeps everything on, fills in my pores, it moisturizes without making me feel too oily so that's awesome. The next thing on my list would be dun 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 the Becca Cosmetics Jaclyn Hill. Oh I think this is called the Champagne Collection Face Palettes. I got this the day it came out. Not the first time with the Sephora launch that she did that was like all online. An app is what I think it was. An app. Yes. I got this online the moment it came out. Look how awesome. I am a huge fan. In fact, the only highlighter that I ever fell in love with was the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And this has became my next favorite. This is Champagne Pop. This is Prosecco Pop. They're both great in two different ways. Obviously, you can tell this one's more of a pinkier, and this one is more of a gold. Love these blushes. This is a shimmery. This is kind of like a matte, and then, of course, a bright, bright pink. I have been wearing it every day. If you guys are interested, I can go ahead and film a video for it using all the new cosmetics I've been loving this month. I could do, like, my go-to shimmery makeup look. Otherwise, I have one more thing for you guys. One more thing. Last but not least, my favorite perfume this month would be the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle perfume. At first I was kind of scared to wear this, but works with me. I get more compliments in the salon when I wear this bad boy versus anything else, at least recently. I have a quite a collection of perfumes, so this one would just happen to be my favorite. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe if you do. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see my go-to makeup and hair look because I can film that for you. Also, I will not be around in the month of August. Josh and I are getting married. Follow me on Snapchat to kind of get the behind the scenes of everything. Otherwise, I hope you guys learned something and have a great day. Bye. Josh. Anyways, moving forward, short and sweet like normal.